So sometimes through the course of people buying things or signing up for things or maybe through importing your data, you end up with stuff either in the wrong fields or just questionable data integrity. And so one way to clean your database is to create a web form or a landing page that you can drive people through uh, or drive people to. So we'll say cleaning up our database. And then the key to this web form is that we add a hidden field for email. So email is the one field that they won't be able to change. So I'll remove email here and we can go ahead and add in a hidden field. It doesn't matter where you put that because it'll be pre-populated, they won't see it. Um, if you have the wrong email address for them, then you won't be able to email them anyway. So email is the one thing we can trust is working. Um, and then what I would do is just mark as many fields as you would like to include for them to review and don't make any of them required. That way they have the ability to give you whatever info they want. So this is a good place to also collect like company name or maybe include something like the job title uh, or their website, whatever other information you might get from them and change the submit button to update my details. And then I would add one more thing. I would probably put a snippet on here just to explain what this form is for. So say something like, um, please review the info I have on file to make sure it's accurate. Right, and let's move this down into the body of the web form so it's not overlapping there. So there you, you can see I've added a couple of fields. You would add as many fields as you want them to review. So if you have specific custom fields, you can add those here as well. If phone number is really important, make sure you have a phone number on here and then just set this as ready. And let's grab the uh, hosted URL for it. And then what we're gonna do is just pop a sequence in here. And depending on how regularly uh, you want to remind people, you could add basically your whole database to this and then put maybe an email reminder once a quarter, right? Something that's sort of passive. If you have a more urgent need, you know that your data is corrupt or is not very good, maybe you'll email them once a week until they do it or something like that. But let's say um, update request one. And in here, we'll just say, hey, our email or our data is kind of messed up and I wanna clean my database and make sure that I've got the right info for you. So please take a moment to update your info. Okay, so we've got our text here, a um, little OCD, so I'll change that. Um, update, and then we'll just make this a link and we can paste in the URL there. Uh, let's try that one more time. Cool, and then we'll just say uh, update request one and we can then, if we want to up uh, request the second time, uh, what you would do is just pop in a delay timer and ask them however long later. So a week or a month, depending on, like I said, your urgency. Uh, so let's do update request two. You don't even really need to change the messaging here. Just uh, maybe just say, hey, just a reminder, if you haven't yet, please update your information and then build that out three or four emails, however many you like, depending on how important it is to you. The reason you can do that is because you know that this sequence is going to stop the moment that they update their info. Just as a reminder, when they click through into this form, their information will already be pre-filled on that web form based on this setting. So you do need to make sure you have this checkbox ticked in order for their information to come with them. That way they only have to review what's already there and change things if appropriate. If you don't have that box checked, they'll just see a bunch of empty fields when they click through to this form. If you want, you could also put something over here that says, you know, thanks for updating your info, that sort of thing, just to thank them. Um, on this form, sometimes a good practice is to below the submit button, just ask them a few questions about themselves. So gather new information like, hey, check this box if you want uh, my specials and updates or my emails or my blog posts or something like that. So um, future sales promotions, right? And then tag them, of course, if they do check that box. So this can be a good way to um, not only verify the information you already have about your audience, but to take it one level further, capture new information, make sure that you're giving them the info that they need. Now let's do one more thing. 
Um, in order to trigger this, you would drop however contacts or however many contacts into the sequence that you wanted. But one additional way that we could leverage a form like this is just by going to our branding center and including a link to that form in all of our emails. So, you know, our campaign emails or broadcast emails, we could add right in the footer there uh, a link that says update my info or, or review my info, something like that. So review my information. And let's go ahead and make that a link. And what this does is it gives you the ability to, or gives them the ability to click through and see what you have on file for them. So that if at any point they want to uh, change or update that, you've just made it accessible. And the beauty of placing this link in the branding center is then it's automatically in any emails that you send out in the future. You don't have to add it to everyone. It's just kind of in that footer. So that's a good practice there. If you are gonna go that route, the other thing you wanna do is just ensure that this web form is an entry point so that if people fill it out, they still get your thank you email even though they weren't in here the first time. So that's one way that you can stay on top of making sure your database is clean and your information is uh, accurate because uh, your marketing is really dependent on having valuable and valid information about your prospects. Cheers.